Now we're gonna talk about the Instagram algorithm. Like, I literally got a text from my friend who was like, OMG, the Instagram algorithm. I'm like, guys, at this point, people just don't care. Like, the regular, your regular followers don't care about your content. No one gives a shit. Shout out to the car You don't know how long it took me to make that song. Little quick plug, stay to the end to learn how you can be the next comment winner because I freaking sing that song just for you. Shout out to the comment winner. Currently, I don't wake up this early usually in film, but it's 6 30 and that's freaking late to me I usually wake up at 4 or 5 30. No, not gonna lie I'm pretty angry that I woke up so late, but the grind never stops. I've a lot of tea today So I thought I'd take you along and I'm first headed to the gym. All right, let's go All right guys, so we're at the gym Yeah, I have asthma and I look pale. Um, hey guys, so it's 8.40. I actually have a meeting in 20 minutes, podcasting, networking, all that jazz. Um, his name is Matt. All of that's filled, like every hour there's something, but I kind of like this. Like not every day is like really busy, but this week has definitely been one of them. So I'm kind of in a rush, so uh, let me finish this first. Hey Matt, how are you? How's good, I'm doing good, how is you? So we are here with Matt Loberstein, and I actually came across uh, Matt a few days ago. So now I have my own brand. Uh, I'm at the seven figure level. Awesome podcast. Thank you, Matt, for joining me. You're super chill, and it was awesome recording with you guys. So check it out. And today's actually a busy day, so I have to hop into my next meeting. I have a phone call with someone in London. A little bit of background I am an entrepreneur. I have. My main business is actually a marketing agency, and then I coach people on how to make money with their personal brand. And then now I'm starting a new digital app for Alexa and personal brands. It's it's in progress, so you guys will come with me. A lot of people are like, Jade, what's your day in a life? This is weird, so I'll take you guys along. Oh, uh, it's like 10 a.m. and I have a meeting, but I'm really freaking hungry. Ugh, do you ever get so busy you forget to eat? Thursday and Friday's video is back up, ready to go, and you send me. But this is what I'm gonna do. I'll give you three videos in a head. Like, update, I'm still freaking hungry, but I did my hair. I never do my hair, I'm actually really lazy. Wow, so now it's set at www. Wow, Dad, you are a creator. It's my head downstairs. My mom's gonna make me some food. It's honestly 11 a.m., and I had more meetings than a real meal. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm hungry. <laughs> this looks like shit, but it's a salad. I have another phone call with a potential client for my app. Still in my workout clothes, so. Right, so this is better. Uh, OOTD, just kind of a little Steve Jobs. Do you think um, a social media marketing agency, Shopify, dropshipping? I'm talking about the bullshit artists, okay? So a lot of people, yeah. they sell what they know to an audience that's stupid enough to buy the course, but not smart enough to implement. So what happens is, Everyone hates their life because they're not speaking truth. They have a Lamborghini in the back, but it's rented. And this whole knit. So guys, I'm here with Reed. Hi guys. Reed, what did you get? I got a matcha latte with soy milk and vanilla syrup. She's doing it right. She's doing it. I just got a coffee. I also got zucchini. <laughs> Reed and I, I guess we're both like Instagrammers, but I actually saw her through social media. And you're also doing digital marketing too, right? Yes. yes. Super cool. All right, so I'm gonna have coffee with her. I'm gonna update the vlog. So guys, we are now walking down. The street. What are we feeling for today's photos? It's kind of rainy though. I don't know. Like, there's some cool historic houses and stuff. Like, yeah. Uh, so, I have a minor headache and coffee was a little bit strong. But I wanted to make this rant chat thing. This is really not a good angle. But after the coffee day, I went to um, the mall. Why am I talking like this? I went to the mall and it was like really empty. Like it was to the point like I was having a conversation with the cashier and she's like, how's your day? He's like, I'm really busy. And then she's like, at least you're busy. Yo, Sears is closing down. Amazon's about to take over. But what I'm trying to say is not a lot of people who's making up from this realization that literally the mall is becoming a museum and all e-commerce is the new retail. It's crazy to see how empty the malls are. And if everyone's like trying to look for the same job at the cashier place at Starbucks, like 
Starbucks literally just announced Scan and Go, and if you don't realize how everything is going to be replaced by robots and automation, and it's going to be really sad to see everyone fight for the same job. Now we're gonna talk about the Instagram algorithm, not that we're on a topic of current issues. Like I literally got a text from my friend who was like, OMG, the Instagram algorithm. I'm like, guys, at this point, everyone and their mother is trying to be a personal brand, and everyone's just like scratching their heads, like how do I com combat this Instagram algorithm? How do I get into more engagement groups? I have a lot of students who ask me for engagement groups and I don't blame them people just don't care like the regular your regular followers don't care about your content no one gives a shit so if you the faster you can realize that and the faster you'll move into a more of a consumer centric space and you care about more your, your audience more than about yourself you're not gonna even focus on the algorithm the, the fact people are focusing on their algorithm but not their content is insane I mean I guess people are insecure or either just wanting to fulfill themselves from likes and comments but honey that's not gonna really pay your mortgage <laughs> or it's not gonna really pay your bills so if you want to be this influencer lifestyle think about your audience think about your consumer think about who you're target audience don't try to get that random little Instagram bot that's gonna fulfill fulfill your confidence because at the end of the day I have a lot of friends with over a hundred thousand followers who are unhappy with their lives but my advice I guess for people who are like Jade give me advice on how to combat this Instagram algorithm guys uh, pick a niche pick a topic pick a category or audience and double down on that know what they want and give it to them was that enough? I don't know, like for example, if you are in the hair, if you're a hair stylist, you obviously want customers that are maybe 50 to 30 girls that make tutorial based videos or little little how-to guides on double down on your consumer and what they want. And if you're gonna like flip flop on your audience and say yeah, you want everyone, if that's not gonna work, you're not gonna win everyone, honey. Double down on a niche, double down on something you're good at, especially your strengths, and that's how you will win. Because I just don't have to, I don't have time to worry about my likes and comments. I'd rather make an impact than worry about how many likes I get on a post. Mom, everyone loves you. Like, in my video, they like they love you. Thank you. I mean, engagement groups are great. They're a great way to get started. But just, it's not gonna last forever. Instagram's just gonna get smarter. They're gonna, they're basically, Instagram's trying to weed out B, C, D players. So if, if anything, like, you shouldn't be scared about this algorithm. Be motivated. Be, you know, there's so much potential and I have so much confidence in you. Uh, the fact that people are stressed out about the likes and comments is really concerning. Instagram's just trying to get rid of the sucky people, man. If you suck, you're out. <laughs> Same with the YouTube algorithm. Winners are gonna win, no matter what. One hour later. I'm so cold, hungry, and tired. I'm really freaking hungry. Update, I'm still hungry Does that makes sense yeah I'm hungry hungry and a headache what is the best part of the song ready I really think we should talk about the next steps in regards to collaboration we leave it on 7 we come back on 14 LA LA to San Francisco new client right client, man new client those in sales Hero. hey guys so I was really angry but now I'm I ate food and now I'm fine. Okay, I'm hungry. So, last wrap up today, I gotta edit this video. I'm, I'm actually, like through my personal brand, I was able to reach a really nice team. So I potentially have a new editor so I can actually breathe. I have a lot of meetings after this of coaching calls. So like I do coach people how to grow their Instagram, how to grow their business. It's just getting a little much for me. Like I'm going crazy. Regardless, today was amazing. I met Reed today. Reed is an angel. Uh, literally like, super authentic like i love her instagram she's gorgeous and authentic and i really look up to her um you know what i just realized like i cut out a lot of people in my life uh because i left high school and now the friends or the circle i'm with are just so like authentic real and super super just you know like kick ass so super cool to have like a network of people that are motivating also just to say like if you guys are, like you guys are my friends. If you're my friends, like you're my friends. Like I'm super loyal to people that are like close to me. People know this. So like if someone could hit me up and ask a question and I'm just like right there like filling out paragraphs. So like if you're my friend, like you're my friend. Like super loyal. Like totally believe in that. I don't know what I'm saying. I love you. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna sign off this video and I just wanna say thank you so much for all the love, all the support, everything. It's a busy day, but I will always have time for you guys. So <sighs> Um, comment below what you think about the Instagram algorithm. For me, I personally, I'm not affected because I know that, you know, the truth always wins. And as for others, it's scary. So let me know what you think. Comment below right now. I want to hear your thoughts. 
It's my energy. Your comments give me life. Shout out to the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Mwah. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up. If you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.